Hello and welcome to another edition of the Dad's Beer News. We're going to do the last beer in the Sinister Brew 7C series. And we're going to do this one. And this is the Caribbean Rum, sorry, Caribbean Sea Imperial Stout. This has been battle aged in 23 year old Caroni Rum. Barrels, um, ABV on this one is 13%, although the label has 13 written over it well, underneath that it says 11.2 as i said in all of these beers they were assayed wrong when it came to the um abv this is number 153 out of 336 it says on the side here canned in april 2023 and best before april 2028 but on the sticker on the back here it says best before december 2028 if you have a little bit of luck it says that there and it also says uh, april there. Um, the last one I did, the Pacific Ocean one, for me was the best one of the of the of the six that I'd had. The first four, they were, as I said, proper rough, rough and ready. Needed to be left alone. Needed to be give it time to mellow out in the can. Um. Anyway, let's pop a top on this one and see what we've got. Now, Caroni Rum. I had a little look at what. Crony one was and Crony Rum ceased business in 2002 um, due to well, lack of sugar, I think it was, in Trinidad and Tobago. Um, so, this, this I've heard really good things about this, this beer. Um, anyway, being a glass, what have we got? Jet Black beer, we've got a nice. Dustin of Tan's head to try and put some light through. There's absolutely nothing getting through that. There we go. Beautiful stuff. It really does look good. Let's get the nose, see what we can smell. Oh, wow, that's good. Roasted malt. Loads and loads of rum coming through there intoxicating mm. smells sticky smells sweet maybe get a little get a little bit of a coconut Let's see if there's anything, says anything on it about what's what we've got uh, so it's rich rich woody full of molasses tobacco and old leather flavors oh aged for 13 months in a rum barrels from the now defunct caroni Rum distillery in Trinidad that held its sweet nectar for 23 years. Wow. I must admit, I'm not getting any tobacco, I'm not getting any wood. Well, I suppose I get a little bit of wood in some of those from the band that I was with the booze, but I'm not getting any, any tobacco. Okay, let's go for the body and carb. Cheers. Mmm. Medium to heavy body, slick and oily and greasy, velvety smooth. You know what? I do get a bit of tobacco on the taste, and I do get a little bit of wood. I am carbonation, nil, absolutely nil. There's no carb to this at all. Right, let's go for a big old taste. Cheers. So good. Oh, the rum. Sweet, sticky, sugary from start to finish. The back end, the alcohol comes in, puts that tingle on the tip of my tongue. Again, warming sensation here. Beautiful. There is a woodiness to it, there's an oakiness to it. There's also a coconutty feel to it as well. I'm not getting a lot of tobacco, I must admit. There's a little hint of a smokiness to it. But it's not a great deal for me. It's all about the rub. 
and it's all about the molasses and the burnt sugar and it isn't too sweet because the woodiness cuts through all the sweetness and makes it dry but again it's dry in the right in the right amount it's not too mental in that respect this is lovely it's really really good I think what I said in, intoxicating I think that's the right word for it it's the best one of the lot of the seven this is the best one the 13 percent is it there yes is it in your face smacking you about no it's not it's just there and you can get it okay no warm sensation in the chop department got a little bit here a little bit here as well this is this is a joy of a drink i really like this one i think the pacific one was 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 right up there as well these last two the pacific one that i did yesterday and this one are the best of the seven um and i think this is the best one of the lot beautiful So I'm going to go away and I'm going to finish that and I'm going to let Mrs. Beard have a crack at it because she's really liked the last three, the last two, sorry, the Mediterranean one and the Pacific. So this is Sinister Brews, Seven Seas, Caribbean Sea, Imperial Stout, 13% ABV. Do I like it? Yes. Would I buy it again? Yes. Would I recommend it to friends? Yes. This is a lovely lovely drop of beer uh, it's definitely a sipper it's definitely worth drinking on a cold wet night just to warm your bones through oh it's, it's it's lovely if you've had this beer let me know what you think please put a little comment in the comments box below i will put a link to the sinister brew coat in the description box as i said in the last video you can't buy these beers off the website but they do give you a list of shops where you can get them I got these from Priest Town in, in the Whittle. I um, the original four I had at the start of September. Ben, the beer lad, bought me them, and he got them out of Priest Town in Preston. So if you're up that way, give them a look. They might be starving some in. I certainly Prost might still have some of these in as well. I um, do that if you like the video. Do that if you like the video. Subscribe down that bottom corner there, and I will see you in the next one. Stay there, stay safe. Drink what makes you happy. Yeah.